audience participation. But I think what we've seen this year is the growing realism in the industry on the, the sheer capital cost of energy projects. And we're seeing a lot of innovation on how to actually bring the LNG to market, because it's there, and it's a known reliable fuel, but at an affordable price where in capital constrained times, the, uh, the, the projects can actually develop and thrive on this basis. Of course, the belief is that the LNG sector is doing better than most. Well, in some ways it is, um, but of course there are some headline rates which are, are spot rates and which are, which are a little bit like passing mist. And uh, not one but two speakers said they really do not like looking at headline rates because they actually um, distort the market and, and alter people's behaviour in a, a negatively like way. So you know, look at the un underlying, the fundamentals. What are the fundamentals? Environmental the uh, ability of LNG to react, to be uh, brought to market very quickly. You have the, um, the innovation projects that we've been hearing about at very, very small scale, then leading to the larger scale floating LNG, and then if people are uh, long-term uh, committed, on building public LNG terminals fixed on ground. So we're now seeing a step development, and it's almost the same to some extent in the uh, LNG bunkering business. You've now got a series of ships available in key locations around the world which can bunker vessels. You don't have to go into harbour and get trucks alongside as was really too long before. So the, the market is open. It's very important to see this innovation. And it's a great opportunity at this conference to get an overview and bring it all together. Now you reference innovation and an opening market. One of our speakers said that when it comes to design, there are no limits. Yes, the limit is your own imagination. And there were some really memorable quotes from a lot of the speakers. One of the pleasures to me was that I've, I've been to quite a lot of conferences over the years and you see innovations and then for some reasons they don't progress. But here we saw one which I remember when it was first introduced at the very first conference, thinking, this, is, this has got something, this is uh, innovative and it, it will work. And sure enough, today we heard the story of the first project where they were using it. And I'm sure this has got great legs and will go, uh, will spread much further. So this is a good example of where the audience get the, the, the insight as to where things are going. And I think it makes these, these events really so valuable. And for anyone who hasn't perhaps been to one of these events, what type of person would you meet here? Well, you actually meet a really wide, diverse range of people. There's technical people, there's some real technical experts, there's some deep commercial knowledge, there's people who are interested in project development, if you like commercial financial people, basically the entire spread of the industry. But the way it's sized and arranged and, and laid out, it's actually very, very good for networking, which is something that can be an issue in the bigger conferences. You can actually uh, see the people here and talk to them.